What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to build this bottom nav bar for KVMD and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at this bottom nav bar. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time via just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at this bottom nav bar. We can kind of click around. There's some cool icons. The screen changes when we click on them, and it's pretty cool. So this is pretty simple. Shouldn't take us very long, but very useful. And you can see, we'll talk about the icons, where I got them, and, and stuff like that. And uh, it should be good. So let's head over to our code here. I've got two files, bbar.py, bottom bar.py, I guess and bbar.kv. It's our basic KV starter code that we always use. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the rest of the KV playlist. There's, I don't know, 40 or 50 videos so far. So check those out if you haven't so far. So, all right, we've got our starter code here. I've got our builder pointed to bbar.kv, which is our KV file, and there's nothing in there yet. So let's start out by giving this a box layout. And we want to give this an orientation of vertical, I think, probably. And let's start out by giving it an MD toolbar. I think we've looked at these before. Let's give this a title of bottom nav bar. And we'll talk a little bit about color and stuff. For now, we'll just leave this all blank, but we can play around with the color of the nav bar and the text and stuff. And we'll look at that in just a minute. So now let's go MD bottom navigation. Go. And again, we can play around with color here. I'll leave that for now. We'll get into that in just a second. In fact, let me just kind of comment color stuff for now. Uh, then we want an MD bottom navigation item. <laughs> All right. And so let's go name and we'll call this, call it anything you want. Let's just call it screen one. And let's give this some text. And for the text, let's say, I don't know, Python. Now we want to set an icon. We want little icons to be down here. So to do that, we just call icon and then we just pick the icon that we want. Now there's a Python icon and it is language dash Python. And I'll show you in just a second where I got that. So you can pick different icons if you want. And then inside of this, we can call an MD label. And this will fire whenever we click on the, the icon, right? So we can give this a text of, let's say, Let's say Python. And let's, uh, let's align it. Let's go H align and let's just put this center. Good enough. Okay, so that pretty much will do. So if we want more of these things, we can just copy this and paste them in. So boom, boom, do two more. And for this one, we'll have this say screen two, right? And let's give the text, let's say YouTube. And for the icon, I just want YouTube. And here, let's say Codemy YouTube channel rocks. Woo! <laughs> I don't know. And again, we want to center this. And then for this last one, let's go screen three. And for this, this will be Instagram. And here, we just want this to be the Instagram icon. And then for the text, let's say my Instagram. And then I'll put a line break to put a line below it. And then my, my Instagram is real John Elder. I think that's right. I don't know. We better check that to make sure. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this. And that's kind of really all there is to it. So we can head back over to our terminal. And you notice I'm in my C Kivi MD directory. That's where we've been saving all of our Kivi MD files. You notice our virtual environment is turned on. So here we could just run this. Let's go Python bbar.py. And uh oh, we got an error. What did I do? Ah, right here. Forgot to use quotation marks. Why didn't you tell me? It's Monday. It really is. I've been traveling over the weekend, just got in late last night and a little jet lag. So forgot the. I forgot the quotation marks. All right, so this should work now. Let's run this guy again. All right, and you see the top is blue because that's our default. If we look at our code here, remember we set this to blue gray. That's what we've been using so far in these videos as the default palette color and dark. 
So that's, that sort of comes through here. It does not down here except for with the buttons. When you click on them, you see they turn to that dark blue. Like I said, we can play with the colors and we'll look at that in just a second, but hey, it works and it's just that easy. So really cool, really easy. Before we go any further, where did I get these icons? Let me show you a little resource here. Uh, this is Z-A-V-O-L-O-K-L-O-M, zavolacom.github.io slash material dash design dash iconic dash fonts and then icons.html. I'll try and put a link to this in the description of this video on YouTube here so you can just click on it. But otherwise, write this down. This is where all the icons are that KVMD uses. And you can see there's a bunch of different things you can click on to sort of, because there's a bunch of them. You can see, uh, there's 777. Yeah, 777 of them. So there's a lot. So what I just did is went control F to bring up this little finder thing in my browser. And I just type in Insta for Instagram. And then you see, boom, there's Instagram. And to use it, I just type Instagram in the uh, font, in the icon thing right here. So right here, Instagram. Same thing with YouTube right? We just find the YouTube one and it's probably right around here somewhere. Uh, Facebook, where is it? Amazon, code pin. There should be a code me icon. I have to talk to some people, right? There it is, YouTube, uh, a little bit different, but you see, you just use them. And if I look for Python, you can see language dash Python. That's what I used. Pull this back up. Uh, let's see, language dash Python. So those are the icons, play around with them, look through there, find what you like, and it's just that easy to use them. Let's see, one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is colors. So if we pull this back up, remember this is the default color up here for our app. Let's say we wanna change that up here. So we can do that. Let's come up here to our title of our MD toolbar, and we can go MD underscore BG underscore color and we can change this to anything we want using the regular Kivi color scheme where you pick those four values, red, green, blue, and then a transparency level. So we can go for instance, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then like one. If we save this and run it, it should be a darker gray color. And it is now, and it sort of goes with this a little better. This is white. We could change that too. We could do that with specific underscore text come back, underscore color. And again, we could set this to anything we want. So we could go zero, or let's say we want to make it red. That would be one, zero, zero, one, something like that. Save this and run it. This is going to look horrible, but you know, you can see now it's red, right? I don't know why you would want to do that, but you could, and uh, just that easy. So let's change that back to white. The default is white, so which, or you can name it as white. So we can also come down here and change the bottom colors too. So we can change the panel underscore color and we can set that equal to anything we want. So if we wanted, so red, green, blue, right? Maybe we wanted it at 0.5, not quite so bright. Uh, so this should be an ugly color of blue for the bottom panel. Oh yeah, that's terrible, right? <laughs> so I don't know, you can play around with that back to one. There we go. See, terrible colors, but you know, just that easy to play around with the colors and you change them to any colors you want. Obviously, you're going to want to pick a better color than that. Let me comment this out, uh, but just that easy. So let's save this guy, run it one more time. See if there's anything else we want to talk about here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And these will, you know, kind of resize on their own as you resize the app, which is nice. It's a Kivi thing. It just sort of does that for us, which is really awesome. And that's all there is to it. So, oh, Real John Elder, let's check that. I think I, I wrote that down somewhere. Yeah, there it is, Instagram.com, Real John Elder. This is my Instagram account if you wanna follow me on Instagram. I'm not super active there, but you know, I post just stuff from my life a lot. Uh, some coding stuff from time to time. And right here, you know, a lot of pictures of Aspen and, and Quinn. <laughs> Look at this, a ridiculous picture. It's like a family family album picture, right? It's so weird. <laughs> we got some hiking pictures here. Ah, all the stuff. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you want. Whatever. Uh, but that's fun. So that is bottom navbar. Pretty easy. Icons, even easier. 
And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.